At 30, a teen worker at a Providence pizza parlor is recovering from stab wounds tonight after he was allegedly mugged while making a delivery. And tonight, the owner of that pizza parlor tells Eyewitness News it isn't the first time one of his drivers has been robbed. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us from the control room now with more new at 530. Steve Kelly, the victim is still in the hospital. He's expected to undergo surgery either today or tomorrow. He told police a group of guys punched and stabbed him all for a measly $21. It was a pizza delivery run gone horribly wrong. A 19-year-old man had just dropped off a pizza at someone's apartment. As he was walking down the stairs, he told police three guys attacked him. It's very sad that this is happening. It happened at Cathedral Square in Providence just after midnight on Wednesday. Charbel Kosefi is the victim's boss and the co-owner of Vasilio's Pizza. Yes, a couple of my drivers have got robbed before but they were never stabbed or anything like that. Hopefully it's the last. According to a police report, the suspect said, I know you have money on you, give it to me. They punched the delivery man in the face several times and stabbed him in the back. When the victim handed over $21, the suspect asked, is that all you have? The victim said yes, and the suspects ran up the stairs. I don't know what they get out of it. They Sometimes they take lives out of a couple of bucks. Police are looking into whether there was any surveillance video of the attack as they search for the robbers. If anybody thinks or sees something, maybe they can help us out trying to get those people, prevent anything from happening again. Kosefi says his employee didn't deserve this. He's a great guy. He's a hard worker. I just wish he feels much better soon. Kosefi says the safety of his employees is his top priority. He says he always tells his workers never to park their cars in dangerous areas. He tells the drivers not to keep cash on them, and he says for them to never go into buildings. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.